Hello everyone, welcome back to the UK Coco channel. This video is about the cafes and restaurants I visited um, from May to August of 2021. In this video, I'm going to introduce three cafes and three restaurants in total. Along with the introduction to cafes and restaurants, I've included a lot of footage of the small street of Kyoto. So I hope you enjoyed that as well. So let's begin. I'm gonna start with my favorite hidden book cafe. Isn't it wonderful if someone has a bookshelf full of your favorite genre of books and invite you to read them and serve coffee while you're reading it? This is how I feel about this cafe, Ugu Isu. The owner collected books mostly about cooking, travel, wine, and novels over the years for the sake of it. And later she decided to put them in her cafe. I had royal milk tea and honey sponge cake when I took this video. From April to July, just like in many countries, going for a picnic is one of the best way to spend the weekend. A cafe, wife and husband, a picnic set is available, which includes a basket, napkin, glasses, homemade cookies, and fresh coffee, tea, and a sermon. On top of that, it is located 100 meters away from the riverside where it is a perfect spot for a picnic. I sat down a counter seat and was waiting for staff to be brewing coffee for me and friend. The picnic set was supposed to be returned 19 minutes later. Before going to the riverside, we decided to buy sandwiches and dropped by Western Cuisine Restaurant, Hasegawa. A part of the store is dedicated to take out. They have quite a lot of different kinds of bento boxes as well. For instance, there are chicken steak, tonkatsu, pork ginger, karaage bento boxes. Bento was too heavy, so we decided to go for a beef katsu sandwich. It's really fancy. Mm. Mm. Oops. Here we are at the riverside of Kamugawa. We sat down on a bench. If you ever come to Kyoto and experience some local thing, I think their picnic plan is worth trying. Next is a restaurant that specializes in onigiri. Speaking of onigiri, it's very common to buy onigiri at a convenience store here, as many video has already been featured. But you can have freshly made onigiri at counter seat just like a sushi restaurant. There are about 10 counter seats, and the chef is the only one who makes and serves you onigiri. English menu and instruction to order the menu is available at your table. The minimum order of onigiri is two, and you have to choose side dishes from omelet, pickles, and miso soup. I had cream cheese and cut roll, and scarab onion, uh, scarab miso. The seaweed was crispy and the rice bowl was fluffy. This is the best onigiri I ever had in my life. I check Instagram regularly to find a place that I'd like to go and try. One day, a picture of a whole peach tart caught my attention. That's how I found Kokochi Cafe. They selected peaches in the best condition daily so they are able to make a lot of tart every day. Better call in advance and keep your top before you visit.
The last restaurant of this video is a restaurant with a balcony along the Kamo River in Kyoto. It was August and very hot outside. It was dull to be walking around. I wonder how people in the past lived through such hot days. In Kyoto, a restaurant along the Kamo River offer terrace seating called Kawadoko only in summer. We had a yuba lunch set. It came with yuba sashimi, crunchy fried yuba, smoked duck, and so on. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like or subscribe to my channel. Also, please check my Instagram and homepage address in the comment box below. So, see you in the next video. Bye bye.